filming a YouTube video. Filming a YouTube video. I have been growing subscribers on YouTube <laughs> for the past year. I've only posted a few shorts. So I figured this is a great time because I'm unemployed to post some more YouTube videos, starting with like some of my recipes. You guys seem to love it when I was cooking on social media more, so I'm going to go back to doing what I love, which is genuinely cooking. I think one of the reasons I've been so successful on the program with my coach and losing weight and building muscle is because I love cooking. And for me, every meal is all about getting the most delicious meal. It also should have the most protein I can pack into it. Um, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, it should still be good, it should still be satisfying. The biggest thing I've learned from my coach is there's no point in eating if I'm just gonna wanna eat a little bit later because I didn't eat what I actually wanted. So, specifically, what I'm gonna make today is crispy tofu, garlicky Korean kind of vibe a little bit, I don't really know. Um, my friend in Portland, Bjorn, who's a comic, um, he and his soon-to-be husband, who's also a comic, they took me to the sushi place and they have this delicious crispy spicy tofu and that's kind of what I'm going for. I think I'm going to serve it with rice and nori and some asparagus. Yeah, so we're going to cook that today. So some of the things I, I got, I got this kimchi from Sprouts. I'm probably just going to toss this rice with some sesame oil and some kimchi to make like the laziest, fastest kimchi fried rice to go with this. Um, some cornstarch. I'm gonna toss the tofu in the cornstarch to give it something really to stick to and hopefully create a nice crispy outside. Um, I got some honey and some soy sauce as well as some sriracha. I would use gochujang but I'm out. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation of that. Some minced garlic and some everything bagel seasoning because I'm out of sesame seeds but this is like two kinds of sesame seeds and garlic so I'm just gonna use this at the end. My tofu, which has been being pressed overnight. Look at all that liquid that came out by pressing it overnight. Uh, I think this is going to be good. I got this tofu press um, on Amazon, by the way. It's going to be in my Amazon storefront. Super easy to use, really high quality. And as you can see, it takes a lot of the excess liquid out of your tofu. I think one of my biggest life hacks is prepping your vegetables Emily Mariko style the minute you get them home. The minute you bring your veggies home, wash them, put them in some kind of containers. So these have all been washed and prepped already. I can go in here and grab Brussels sprouts or asparagus that's been washed at any time and quickly make them. It's about convenience. My coach always talks about it's got to be easy. Make it easy. And the reason you want to make it easy is because then you have no excuses. You have no excuses when you've given yourself every resource possible. Also, we're going to use some sesame oil and some scallions, green onions, basically. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to use. We might add some things in. I like to play jazz a little bit while I'm cooking. Taste, add, season, all those things. We're going to have a good time. Check out my biceps. Ooh. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Check out this one. I have like fat buff man biceps now. <laughs> Catch me working a bouncer at a nightclub. I don't know. Anyways, let's get to cooking, y'all. Also, I'm not good at cooking rice. <laughs> to be blatantly honest, if I don't have like a good rice cooker, the rice is gonna turn out like shit. It's gonna turn out bad. Okay, don't tell my grandmother, she'd be so ashamed. But these Tasty Bite um, organic rice packs, they're already cooked. You just separate them and microwave them. They're gluten-free, vegan, and kosher. I've gotten them at Safeway. I've gotten them at Walmart. I've gotten them at Sprouts, Whole Foods. I've even gotten them at Dollar Tree before. Some of my favorite things to keep on hand just for like a healthier version of carbs. And they have lentils. They have beans. They have all kinds of stuff you can buy from them if you're someone who struggles to like cook everything from scratch like me. I'm not really trying to do that. I, 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 I don't I don't want to. Once I get a nice rice cooker, I'm all about it. I bought some quinoa so I'm gonna have to learn how to cook that. This only takes 90 seconds so we'll do this at the end. How funny, so because it has a logo on the bottom of the tofu press, it presses it into your tofu. That's kind of cute. Look. Look. tofu -dee. Shit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So I weigh everything and then I keep like a notebook and then I just like write down the ingredients and the weights so I can later calculate the macros. I know it seems kind of wild because it's like, well, 
how do you know you're actually making something healthy? Well, I'm grabbing as many whole ingredients as possible and putting them together. And the majority of the things that I'm grabbing are super low in sugar, super high in protein and fiber. So I'm, I'm not worried about that, to be honest. And that's kind of how I cook a lot of the time. So we're gonna weigh our tofu. So we have about 290 grams of tofu, 285 grams of tofu. Oh, 283 grams of tofu. And truthfully, when I make this in the future, I'm not gonna re weigh the ingredients. I'm just gonna get approximately the same amount. Once I load it in my nutrition app, then I can just go back to it and edit it if I need to, if I wanna add an ingredient or I can duplicate the recipe. Okay, so 283 grams of tofu. We're going to cut that tofu up into some little one inch squares-ish. Um, I want them littler personally because I want um, as much crispy surface as possible. It's my favorite thing. Why, when you start ingesting more protein, does your body start farting and burping? What's the point of being a muscle mommy if I'm just crop testing everyone all the time? Anyways, so we're gonna cut our tofu up to some little one inch slices. I'm actually gonna slice it down the middle or attempt to. I've literally never made tofu before you guys, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going more for like a half inch slice, I would say. Half inch cubes is kind of what I'm going for. And I think this is probably gonna make me two meals if I was guessing. So, you know, if you're cooking for you and a partner or a spouse, then you're probably set with one thing of tofu. If you're in a throuple or um, you're very into polygamy, then <laughs> you may need more than one tofu wire. I need to get a good knife sharpener um, because I genuinely just buy a new knife every time my knife gets dull. So I have all these dull knives and then we have like one good knife in the house at all times. We use them and abuse them around here. Eh, knife. Yeah, we be treating knives like side pieces in this house. Anyways, okay, so I got my chopped tofu and I'm going to put that in a little bowl to the side so I have it ready to go because I'm going to toss this in cornstarch. Tofu is super high in protein, super low in fat, and has a lot of great nutritional properties. So it's something I want to integrate into my cooking more. I have a lot of vegan friends who do a lot of tofu scrambles, things like that. So I'm just gonna try some different tofu recipes, starting with this one. I have like four more blocks of tofu to cook with because I bought them at Costco. So we'll see how that goes. What I really wanna do is season this tofu. Instinctually, I feel like I should be seasoning it. So I'm going to season it. I'm going to use adobo seasoning. I basically use this on everything, but it just has like a bunch of different seasoning. It's salt, garlic, oregano, turmeric. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. And then I add paprika to most recipes. So I'm gonna add a little paprika, some black pepper, some garlic powder. This may be incorrect and the wrong way to treat tofu, but this is how we're doing it today. Okay, so now that it's all evenly coated, I'm going to measure out some cornstarch. If you are gonna be weighing things when you cook, and you're like working out and you buy protein powders or food, nutritional powders of any kind, I keep all my scoops because I find these to be like perfect things to weigh cornstarch and things like that in. I do weights over like measurements because the measurements confuse me. So then I just zero it out on the scale and then I take a little scoop to start and I have an approximate weight. So we're gonna start with approximately seven grams of cornstarch. Probably a little less because most of it's on the outside, but I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over the tofu. I just wanted to get it evenly coated. Oh my good Lord. I wanna feel like less moisture when I got my hand in there, so I'm gonna do a little more. So there's 15 grams there. So we'll add a little bit and see where we end up. So now it reads six, that was another nine grams then. It's probably good for my brain doing all this math all the time. And let's do one more little scoop. So zero, so that then that is 15 grams. So we did a total of grams of cornstarch. It's probably more than enough to be honest, but I'm safe and sorry because this is an experimental recipe. I've never made this before. So, and I do try to clean as I go now. That's for you, grandma. All right, everything's all clean. Now we're going to prep the rest of our little ingredients. So we're gonna get our asparagus, our sauce, and just chop some scallions so those are ready to garnish. I like to peel these like soggy scallions off. Is that wrong? Do they have more flavor? Probably not. Another benefit to washing as you go is all the favorite tools you have if you're like me 
and you're broke and you can't afford a bunch of nice cooking tools and you have like your one or two good items in your kitchen, you then continue to have access to them. And I'm just putting them in little bowls, set them to the side. I like to have all my ingredients prepped. I find it makes cooking easier. And if you're absent-minded, it makes it easier not to burn or forget things because everything's already ready and you're not trying to multitask at the last minute. Next, we're gonna get our spargish. Our spargish. Aspargus. We're gonna grab the amount we wanna eat for two meals. We're gonna weigh it, see how much it weighs. This is about enough for two meals. Sometimes I like to put a little Tupperware or bowl to the side so I can just like quickly throw food waste in it as I'm cooking. And then I toss this at the end, helps keep my counter clean too. For the asparagus, I'm just gonna snap off the ends. Nothing crazy. Obviously, I don't wanna count the ends as part of the weight of what I'm gonna eat. So, snap it first. Boast? I'm gonna snap it first. I'm gonna snap it first. And then I'm going to weigh it. See how much asparagus we're gonna be using. I'm snapping these way low. So this is about how much asparagus we end up with after we've snapped the ends off. So about 250 grams of asparagus. And we're gonna do the asparagus in the air fryer. So that's gonna be really simple. I need a bowl. And then last but not least, we're gonna make us some sauce. Some sauce. I'm gonna do about a two tablespoon, two tablespoon, two tablespoon mix. Kind of going off like a 15 milliliters as a tablespoon rule. Okay, so I don't have gochujang, so I'm gonna do some sriracha. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of each. So we got two tablespoons of sriracha, we got two tablespoons of soy sauce. We're probably just gonna do a little splash of honey. Nothing crazy, because there's already sugar in the sriracha, but I, I think in my head this honey is gonna help with like the stickiness and the sweetness that I experienced at tofu at the sushi place that I was talking about. Okay, so we need like a pan. Like a pan? We need like a pan, girl, yeah. My pans are old and dingy, please don't judge me. This is probably better because I'll be able to stir more consistently. Put a tablespoon of sesame oil in there. Oi! Oh, I think it's the brand, I don't know. <laughs> Let that heat up for a second. I decided I'm actually gonna put the kimchi in the rice, I'm sorry, in the food instead of in the rice because two things. I am like a very visual eater. I like my food to look really good as well as be really good. So I thought if I made the rice red and the tofu was red, it'd just be like a lot of red and it was giving indigestion. So I'm going to put kimchi in the pan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the tofu. We're gonna fry it, move it from the pan. Then we're going to, then we're gonna add the garlic, the kimchi. I'm gonna do a little up, building flavors there. Then we'll add the sauce. Let that start to solidify. Once it's solidified, toss the tofu in it. We got a plan. Let's do the plan. I don't want the oil to be too cool when I put the tofu in, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. Since I want this to get crispy, I'm actually just gonna get a nice even layer going and kind of let them sit. Just sort of like how I would make fried potatoes almost, I think is what I'm going for. I hope this is good, because I'm hungry. And I need some good workout fuel. I don't include seasonings in my recipes. I just kind of, a little sniff, a little this, a little sniff. Looks like I'm saying doing coke. I smell it, season, waft, season. I could be tedious and individually flip these to make sure every side gets evenly crisped, but I'm not gonna be doing that because no. Because no, we're not gonna do that, kids. We're just gonna stir it and hope for the best. You make me want a hot dog real bad. We're just gonna stir it and hope for the best. I'll probably end up overcooking it. I tend to overcook my proteins. I come from a long line of women with anxieties about meat-borne illnesses. <laughs> I know this is tofu, but I would prefer it to be crispier than, and a little too dry than soggier, but less crispy, so I'm gonna go on the crispy side. Plus, we're gonna add sauce, so I think any dryness will get sauced up at later. If you want your tofu to mimic like more of a meat texture, just tear it apart instead of cutting it. It actually would honestly look like fried chicken thighs in this pan right now if I had torn it apart versus cut it in the cubes, but I like tofu, so I don't need that cognitive dissonance. I don't know if that's what that is. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need the this, that, or the other thing. Ding dong, don't need it. So the tofu is just about done. 
I'm going to remove it, and then like I said, I'm going to do kimchi. But I think I'm just going to do kimchi because there's already garlic in the kimchi. And we seasoned it with garlic, and we added garlic in the sauce. A lot of garlic going on, so we're going to just do the kimchi. I'm going to measure that out, though. It's about 180 grams cup of kimchi that I'm going to add. I got tofu back in. Look at that. I think she's looking good, y'all. So we can turn this off. We're gonna make our rice, which is not hard at all. Yes. I'm gonna add some nori to my bowl. I'm not gonna add it to the meal prep one, just for obvious reasons. Made about two portions, I think. I think you probably split it into four, to be honest, but I'm going for two, baby. What in the hell? There's something on my camera. <laughs> anyway, then we got our asparagus. So for me, roasting it at 12 minutes at 400 was more than enough. I would stick with that amount of time. I did it a little longer last time and I found that they were just a little crispy when I was going for more buttery. And I'm just evenly splitting these between both. And that way when I put the recipe in, it will just be an even split down the middle, which is sometimes how I do things. This last one needs to be split in half. That's okay, we're just gonna eat the whole thing and we're not gonna tell. And then last but not least, we garnish with our green onions. And that's gonna be lunch time. Let's go have a little bite. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm, good and spicy. Great texture on the tofu. Make yourself a little taco, put a little asparagus, rice, a little tofu and kimchi. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good motherfucking lunch, yes. Mmm. I'm gonna put the macros here. This is what we're working with for fat, protein, carbs. Um, I'll add fiber on here if the app gives it to me. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff I try and cook every day. Things that are really good, hit me right in my yummy spots. Hit me right in the taste buds. There we go. And yeah, it's, I think, the key to success. Spend time with your food.